Let's look at creating a cumulative frequency and cumulative relative frequency in uh, Excel. Basically, you just take this data here, copy, and put it into Excel there. All right, basically what the cumulative frequency, this is the frequency, and the cumulative just basically adds it up as you go down. So over here, we got that 20. And then as we go down now, we're going to take this 66 and add it on there. So basically, I'm just going to use a sum. There's probably different ways to do it. I'm just thinking off the top of my head right now. I'm just going to use a sum and sum them up as I go down. Equals sum all the way up to this one, all the way up to this one, and I'll continue it down here. Now I did the equation all the way down, sum, you know, just like I said, all the way down, because even though that these ones were 106, I could have just copied them, now I can change these numbers and these numbers, and all these numbers will change. So for example, if I have another problem, I can save this file as cumulative frequency, and then let's say I just type them in and paste them in, and then everything updates. That's what's nice about having this. Once you've done it, everything will update. So there's the uh, cumulative frequency. All right, and then I'll just format this here. And then if you want to do the relative frequency, you can kind of do the same thing. Create the relative frequencies and then sum them up. So we can do that. All right, and that will be the, remember, get the, the total down here, which we already have. Anyway, I just want a box for it. Equals this one divided by the total with a, there you go, dollar sign, the relative frequencies of each of them. And then we just do the same kind of thing. All right, then I want the uh, cumulative relative. Now this I can't just pull this over like that. I need to actually uh, copy it and then I right clicked and I'm going to do paste options as a number. All right. Then I'm going to do sum and do what I just did. Sum them up. Continue down to there and keep going. And I'll come back and do the last one because the last one I should have one, right? All these make one. There we go. And then you can also, of course, you know, however many decimal places you want, format the decimals to say three. That's probably what they're looking for. And then now you can go put them in. There's the relative frequency, the cumulative and the cumulative there and uh, should be good to go for Excel.